Here we are. We are today trying out the uh, K-pop or you can eat hapa. Let's go way in. have the conveyor belt but it's not available due to pandemic so they say they will turn it back on once the pandemic is over the thing you can pick from for lunch menu the soup Show me options for lunch. So this is extra orders. It's the uh, seasonal price. We order all this, and we're gonna get individual part. This is why I order K-pop soup base, which just has mushrooms on it. It's all the ingredients you can get right here. This is the name right here. So we're gonna match that with all the world. So I'm gonna get sesame sauce, tons of garlic, cilantro. And then scallion, pensu, what else I should get? The spicy, I guess I get the K-pop sauce. A little bit, I'll separate out. Because they mix their own ingredient there. This is all the sesame oil, spicy sauce, the Asian sauce right here. All the powder, chili powder. Okay, and then they have ice cream here. A little bit dessert. We order so far. That doesn't look like a six order, but we're gonna order more, of course. Not bad. So many options for lunch. So the lunch is like twenty one ninety nine. All you can eat. Here's the beef. I'm gonna thumbs down to the hot pot. And this is the sauce that I just made. I just mix it. So let's see. This tastes very good because I mix it with sesame oil, sesame sauce, cilantro, tons of garlic, and then the scallion is very herby flavor. And then I'm gonna put some clams in there. Where's my fried tofu? Okay, right here. Shrimps. So let's see if my beef is ready. So the, the, that's the key pop soup base, and they also put some mushroom on it too. So how it tastes like the soup base. Oh, it's very good. It's very, um, very flavor, and has mushroom on it. It's like both. It tastes like mushroom soup base. And this is the meat. Oh, it's very soft. I like it. So this is some kale and daisy. I never had this daisy before, but let me try some. Ooh, look at this. It's very quiet here because it's lunch time on weekdays. Tons of beef. Mm. Oh, I'm trying the K-pop sauce. It's a little sweet, uh, not sour, salty sauce. I think I like my own sauce that I create my own better because I don't feel much like cilantro, garlic. 
those um i want my her favor now my daisy we'll see how it tastes like oh it tastes good it doesn't taste like more like those vegetables like celery those kind of taste at all i love it i'm gonna order more for that i think the beef is not enough it's too little this is a tiny scallop And this is a shrimp. So the wet shrimp is kind of this kind of fine stuff. I think I might eat the normal jumbo shrimp instead. E scallop. Oh, it's good. Tastes very fresh, even though it's small. You know, that's good. I got this little wet shrimp and see how it tastes like. Feels like the shrimp is like dry shrimp. Definitely not fresh anymore. I will stick with the jumbo shrimp, which is this one right here with this eyes I'm a meat lover I've been eating I ordered so many plates up to a point I don't remember how many plates I ordered all right see my bowl is tons of meat and then now my egg sauce and then ready to eat Mm. So we are done hot pot, so the leftover vegetable soup, cake pop soup base, I'm gonna give it a try, a small bowl. Usually gonna be very good because it suck all the beef and the seafood that I cook in here. All the good stuff here. Feels like very light. It's very awesome. Always like the soup after the hot pot. If you don't order sea chai soup base because it's where we have vegetables like refreshing vegetable taste on top. That's meat on it and seafood. All the combined ingredients become a super good soup. Now we're gonna aim for dessert. This is the ice cream, the chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. I guess I'll get strawberry. Get the soda, which is tapioca dessert, the Asian dessert. It's very sweet. I think it's it's can, but then they make it even also sweet. Can taste the original food taste besides the sugar syrup. So let's try this jelly. And see what they what this is. Hmm. This is lychee jelly. Oh, if you think don't think about this is the uh, typical um, American jello because this is not a soft, a little bit chewy side, and you can say. Like, Tastes a very strong like lychee flavor coming out, but it's very good refreshing. Mm. Not that sweet, it's very strong lychee. And this is just regular canned loop. Sweet too. Now let me try the sago. This is like a white clear tapioca. Mm. With tons of coconut milk, but it's not strong enough yet, so it's still like not overwhelming, not feeling heavy cream, like creamy at all. Because usually coconut milk is heavy cream, I feel you heavy, but this is not, it's good. It's cold, it's refreshing. Like, after eating all this hot pot, having them some cold dessert is very good. I would recommend it, just like coconut milk water and the clear tapioca, and that's it, for sugar. Not sugary, by the way. And this is a strawberry ice cream they have. That's how they look like. Oh, solid heart. So then we have three flavors, which they have green tea or coffee would be better. Standard 
strawberry ice cream, nothing special. You can taste the strawberry there. Over, overall, I like this place. The serving is very good and I get to eat a lot of meat and the soup place is many choices. So I would highly recommend to come here. It's very quiet on the weekdays, but probably going to be busy on weekends. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.